Welcome back. Time to shine. And joining us right now, live on the line, NFL on CBS analyst and former Chargers Hall of Fame quarterback, the great Dan Fouts. And Dan, take us through your emotions when you found out the news on the Chargers last night. Well, Adam, it was like getting punched right in the gut. Um, it just took the breath away from me. You know, we'd heard about this possibility for years now. And, uh, you know, being an optimist, I've always thought that there's a way to make a deal. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was just 15 years of frustration, and uh, the Spanos has had enough, and off they go. So it leaves a tremendous void in the San Diego community, obviously. Uh, so many people uh, and fans are affected by it. Uh, but, uh, you know, for me, I'm just proud to have played for the Chargers and, uh, you know, thank the fans of San Diego for their great support over the years. Dan, describe for us that special bond and attachment between the Chargers and the community, between the Chargers and the sports fans in San Diego. Well, you know, I came to San Diego back in 73, and, and back then it was a, uh, you know, a sleepy little border town with a, a lot of Navy presence and a lot of uh, people thirsty and hungry for uh, some football. And, and, uh, you know, we had a tremendous fan base that stuck with us through some really crummy years when we weren't very good. We, we had one year where we lost 11 games in a row to start the season. So having, you know, said that, those fans obviously were rewarded with some great years as well. But they were always consistent, and uh, they always cared. And uh, they went out of their way to, uh, you know, in those days a lot of guys had to work in the off season, and people opened up their businesses for a lot of my teammates. And, uh, it, it was just a special time and, and uh, one that really I think that's where it hits me the most is when I think back of the people I first met in San Diego that are still there, that are still Charger fans, and now have this huge hole in their life. In your opinion, was there a way to prevent today? Was there a way to prevent this move? Well, you'd, you'd think so, uh, but it comes down to dollars, and the dollars weren't there on either side, uh, the city of San Diego. Uh, wasn't willing, and the Chargers weren't willing, and uh, the Spanos has made it a, a, a business decision, and they're going to have to live with it. With that said, how will Dean Spanos be looked at in San Diego? Well, there's going to be a lot of people that don't like him, obviously. <laughs> uh, and that's just reality. I mean, uh, the guy made a business decision, and you've got to deal with that. If you're Philip Rivers... What's your reaction to the move? Well, I know Philip is uh, very emotionally tied into San Diego and uh, his family. You know, he's got eight kids and, and uh, tremendous family man and, and a big part of the community. Uh, it, it's going to be tough for him. And I, I really feel for him because you talk about a guy that's giving it everything he has to the Chargers over the years and, and performed under duress and with a bad offensive line and no running backs, but continue to play every Sunday from, um, you know, the opening kick to the final whistle. So uh, for him, he's got to be really hurting a lot, as well as all of his teammates. Dan, do you expect Chargers fans in San Diego to still root for the team? Do you expect them to travel to Los Angeles for home games? I think a very small portion will. Uh, Carson isn't all the way to uh, Inglewood, uh, it's just short by about 20 miles or so, but it's still uh, up by five, and that's that's never a pleasant drive for any San Diegan. How close are the Chargers to being a good team, in your opinion? Well, you got to get a new head coach. Uh, you know that's their biggest problem right now, and they better get a coach that uh, brings a little pizzazz because you're going into the pizzazz capital. Uh, if you don't win in L.A. with style, you're not going to be uh, followed very closely. Uh, you're not going to be supported very closely. Uh, so that's the reality with all the different pro franchises in L.A. and the great universities that have tremendous athletic programs and demand for the dollar of the sports fan. Uh, the Chargers and the Rams have better win, and they better win soon. Dan, we appreciate the time. As you said, emotional day for you and all the Charger fans and everybody in San Diego. And phenomenal year on the NFL on CBS, and we'll talk to you again real soon.